Hello everyone, my name is Astha. I welcome you all to our classes for International English Olympiad for class 7th. Today is our second class in the series. However, this will serve as our first conceptual class wherein we will be, we will be discussing one topic in length which is synonyms. Synonyms is pretty easy to understand but it can be tricky if you don't know the exact synonym of a word. However, we will be learning various, we will be learning a number of them and solving the questions as well. So it will, it will work as a word bank for you as well. So let's start with our class. सबसे पहले क्वेश्चन आता है व्हाट एग्जैक्टली आर सिनेनिम्स सिनेनिम्स का पहले सबसे पहले हमें उनका मीनिंग समझना है ऑल ऑफ दीज वर्ड्स दे मीन द सेम दे हैव सिमिलर मीनिंग्स राइट सो सिनेनिम्स आर वर्ड्स विद सिमिलर मीनिंग्स ओके यही सिंपल सी डेफिनेशन है synonyms ki ki synonyms are simply words with similar meanings okay so let's try to understand it better all right so here you see student here what do we have we have a few examples what synonyms for example answer here the synonym could be reply respond retort acknowledge all these words they are different but they mean exactly the same as answer all right similarly ask uh, and if we say ask it could uh, the synonyms could be question inquire of seek information from put question to demand request expect inquire query interrogate examine quiz all these could be the synonyms of ask then similarly we talk about awful awful something very bad student yeah something very bad we could say dreadful terrible abominable bad poor unpleasant right similarly for bad here bad all these you see all these which you have said for awful these could be the synonyms for bad as well but for bad there's so many evil immoral wicked corrupt sinful depraved rotten contaminated spoiled tainted harmful injurious okay here again end synonyms could be stop finish terminate conclude close halt cessation discontinuance then another word enjoy these synonyms could be appreciate delight in be pleased indulge in luxuriate in bask in relish devour savor like explain this could be synonymous for elaborate clarify define interpret justify account for other word fair this could again be synonymous for words like just impartial unbiased objective unprejudiced honest right here you see so many synonyms could exist for just one word that's the beauty of english now instead of using the word explain again and again you could use different words like interpret or justify or instead of just saying i enjoyed myself or you can say i was pleased i uh, i um, relish today's experience or i, I uh, appreciate today's experience so you know uh, these kind of synonyms you can use and this improves your vocabulary all right
Okay, so here we have a few examples. For example, let's start with here, begin. Now, begin is a word whose uh, synonyms could be start, open, launch, initiate, commence, inaugurate, or originate. All these words, they mean the same as begin. They can be used interchangeably. Which means instead of begin, you can either say initiate or inaugurate or launch. All right. All these mean the same. Then next word, big. It uh, see so many synonyms. Try to incorporate as many synonyms as possible. Enormous, huge, immense, gigantic, vast, colossal, gargantuan, large, sizable, grand, great, tall, substantial, mammoth astronomical, ample, broad, expansive, spacious, stout. Okay, another few synonyms. Let's just go through them. Like fascinating, engaging, sharp, keen, bright, intelligent, animated, spirited, attractive, inviting, intriguing. Provocative, thought provoking, challenging, inspiring, involving, moving, titillating, tantalizing, exciting, entertaining, piquant, lively, racy, spicy, engrossing, absorbing, consuming, gripping, arresting, enthralling, spell binding, curious. Captivating, enchanting, bewitching, appealing. Right. The other word keep, hold, or retain, or withhold, or preserve, or maintain, or sustain, or support. Other one could be to kill, slay, or execute, or assassinate, or murder, or destroy, or cancel, or abolish. Right. So many synonyms. Here again, scared would be called as afraid, frightened, alarmed, terrified, panicked, fearful, unnerved, insecure, timid, shy, skittish, jumpy, disquieted, worried, vexed, troubled, disturbed, horrified, terrorized. Shocked, petrified, haunted, timorous, shrinking, tremulous, stupefied, paralyzed, stunned, apprehensive. Another word is show, could be called as display, exhibit, or present, or note, or point to or indicate, or explain, or reveal, or prove, or demonstrate, or expose. Slow would be called as unhurried, gradual, leisurely, late, behind, tedious, slack, stop is synonymous to cease, halt, stay, pause, discontinue, conclude, end, finish, quit. Now see, if you know so many, if you would know so many synonyms for words, for simple words, imagine how much it could include your vocabulary. Alright. Okay, so here we have fat and uh, this is synonymous to stout, corpulent, fleshy, Beefy, paunchy, plump, full, rotund, tubby, pudgy, chubby, chunky, pearly, bulky, elephantine, and uh, fear. The next word is fear. This could be synonymous to here fright, dread, terror, alarm, dismay, anxiety, scare, or horror. Panic, apprehension. Right. Other word is fly, and this is synonymous to words like sore, 
hover, flit, wing, flee, waft, glide, coast, skim, sail, cruise. All right. Then there are few more like funny, which means it is the same as humorous, amusing, droll, comic, comical, laughable, silly. Another verb which is get. So we have a few more synonymous verbs like acquire, obtain, secure, procure, gain, fetch, find, score, accumulate, win, earn, rep, catch, net, bag, derive, collect, gather, clean, glean, pick up, accept, come by, regain or salvage. Uh, instead of go, what words can you use? Recede, depart, fade, disappear, move, travel, proceed. All right, I hope you have understood these words and how one simple word, see fat, one simple word, one simple word, funny, can be synonymous to so many words which you use instead of our common words like fat or fear or fly it is going to give a very good impression and even you will feel more confident that you know where while everybody is uh, using the same old words you are uh, using new vocabulary and adding new word meanings and synonyms all right let's move on all right so there will be a subtopic that we will be taking um, in today's class alongside synonyms which is analogies now what an analogy is it basically compares two things that are mostly different from each other but have some traits in common now to simplify what is going to happen in analogies is uh, you will be given a set of words all right you will be given four to five words and out of which you will have to choose the odd one out now these analogies uh, this is an analog. This is the exercise of an analogy, where all these words they will be sort of similar to each other, but there will be one word that might be an antonym, that might be something absolutely different, or otherwise. So there will be this one word which you will have to choose from the options. Okay, pretty easy exercise. I have included this as a sub part of synonyms because in most of the analogies you see most of these words like suppose if five words are given so out of these five words usually four are synonyms of each other and then one is this odd one up so that's why i've included included this as a part of synonyms only all right the, that's why we will be doing more than the regular number of questions in this class but this will be simple after practice you'll be all, all right let's start right so now we have learned what synonyms are. Now at the time is to play the quiz. Agar aapko lagta hai, you are not clear, you can rewind the video, watch it again. Alright, so for the quiz what we will be doing is, now every question you will be given one minute. One minute means 60 seconds. Why am I giving you one minute? Because you see, your question paper of IEO, it has about uh, 50 questions and so you can uh, imagine that, you know, you get more or less a minute to answer the questions. Now, this one minute is the maximum that you should be taking for answering the question. Now, suppose there could be two, three, two, three categories of students. First category is suppose you answer the question within that one minute. So I would request you to fast forward the video and uh, skip right to the answer. You should not be wasting your time. All right. Now the other students who are not able to answer the question in one minute, what you do, you don't skip to the answer. You pause the video and you write down your answer. All right, it is very important to answer each and every question because there is no negative marking. Here you see, for every incorrect answer, no points. 
because there is no negative marking in IEO so it is important that you attempt all the questions. Now for a question of which you are not sure about the answer now even here and even in the exam if you are not sure about the answer and you maybe think that B option is might be correct or C option might be correct so you should uh, in that case play your luck and play your mind and make a guess and still give an answer because it is a win-win situation either you will get the marks for that question or you will get a zero right but if you don't attempt that question at all then you are anyway getting a zero in that right so it is good to attempt those questions and uh, even if you don't know all the answers try to understand and take a guess okay so this is for every correct answer 10 points this is just for your uh, for your own little game where you can try uh, to maintain a notepad so here you write the name of the chapter and then the question and then if it is correct you can give yourself 10 points if it is not correct you mark it here so it is important to mark to see these questions the ones which you mark incorrect it is important to go back to them later and then see where you did the mistake all right this is just for your reference for every correct answer you can give yourself 10 points all right now let's uh, start Alright, so we have the first category of questions wherein what we have to do is choose the correct synonym of the give, for the given words. We are given a word and we have to choose a synonym which is given in one of the options. Alright, let's start. The word here is admire. The options are A. Praise, B. Mock, C. Possess, D. Insult. Now what are synonyms? Synonyms are the words which mean the same. So here, the correct answer is A, praise. Alright, admire and praise which means appreciate someone, say good things about them. That's what is praising and or admiring. Other words, mock. Uh, mock means making fun of someone and possess. Possess means uh, owning something. Right, if you I possess a car, which means I am uh, I am the owner of a car that way, possession and insult. Insult talks about foul words or mock, mockery again. These could be the both the both of these could be the antonyms of admire and their synonyms of each other. All right.
okay so the next word is alien and the options are a proper b stranger c native d akin now here the correct answer which means the synonym is stranger alien and stranger they mean the same thing the one you don't know the one you are not uh, not accustomed to someone who is new to you all right the other words proper means some something nice and clean proper native and akin both these uh, they talk native we can say suppose if i if you are from a city like uh, suppose you are from agra so and that that's your hometown so we can say you're a native of agra right and we are indian so we are native of india and akin means uh, someone who's similar like people with a similar character so now these could be antonyms of what alien and stranger all right and they are synonyms of each other now the word is bitterness the options are a mildness b kindness c acrimony or d sweetness so here what do we have to choose we have to choose the word which is similar to bitterness which means the same so here the correct answer is c acrimony this also means bitterness you know behaving a little rudely or you know that ill feeling that is bitterness the other words like kindness sweetness mildness also can be an antonym in some way they are antonyms of bitterness and acrimony and they are synonyms amongst each other all right Okay, so we have the fourth word, which is blessed. Now, here, the options are a holy, b cursed, c condemned, d upset. Here, the correct answer is the word which means the same, holy. Blessed and holy, they mean the same something, which is 
blessed which means jis pe aashirwad hota hai right that is blessed other the opposite would be cursed cursed would be an antonym so if shrap chada hua that's cursed usually condemn something that is uh, condemned just use ke liye mana kiya ho that is been condemned and upset a state of uh, state of mind where you sad that is upset all right Okay, so the word here is delivered. The options are A bundled, B spread, C dispatched, and D retired. Here, the correct answer, the synonym of delivered, is dispatched. जब हम कोई पार्सल भेजते हैं या कुछ कुरियर सेंड करते हैं समथिंग लाइक दैट तो उसको वी कैन सेट हैज बीन डिलीवर्ड हैज बीन डिस्पैच्ड. Right. Then the other words. लाइक यू हैव पंडल्ड मतलब कि सी के पंडल्स बनाना राइट सो प्रिपेयर करना स्प्रेड नाउ स्प्रेड इट्स प्रीटी सिंपल वर्ड समथिंग दैट फ्लोज अक्रॉस व्हिच मींस समथिंग व्हिच इज स्प्रेडिंग कि वो ज्यादा लोगों तक पहुंच रहा है राइट एंड व्हाट वी हैव हियर वी हैव अनदर वर्ड व्हिच इज रिटार्ड सो रिटार्ड हियर मींस टू वर्क यूजुअली ऑल राइट All right, so we have the next word, which is diligent. The options are a fool, b unhappy, c hardworking, d disappointed. Now here, the we have to choose the synonym. The synonym here is hardworking, diligent, and hardworking. The one who works very hard and consistently and uh, completes all their work. That's hardworking. Puts in a lot of efforts. That's hardworking. the other words like fool fool is usually refer to the person who is uh, what we can say shows a sort of idiocy shows stupidity all right unhappy the state of not being happy unhappy and disappointed could be synonyms of each other disappointed when you're not happy with something again yeah. all right
the the next word is elect the options are a choose b vote out c reject d deny here the correct answer is the synonym is a choose when you elect someone means you choose someone to be you elect the our representatives so we choose them right we choose our representatives then the other options vote out reject and deny these could be the antonyms of elect and choose and the synonyms of each other which means saying no to something or someone vote out elect ka direct opposite hua ki when you elect someone and then you vote out someone right reject and deny all right Okay, so here the words is eventually. The options are A suddenly, B ultimately, C quickly, D initially. Now here the synonym is ultimately. Okay, now both these they mean uh, something that happens finally or uh, at the end of something. यू नो कि इवेंट्स के बाद इवेंचुअली एंड यू नो अल्टीमेटली कि फाइनली एंड में क्या हुआ अल्टीमेटली दिस हैपेंड इवेंचुअली दैट हैपेंड सो लाइक दैट द अदर वर्ड्स सडनली जब कुछ अचानक से हो जाता है क्विकली जल्दी से होना इनिशियली शुरू में क्या हुआ राइट इनिशियली एंड अल्टीमेटली आर एंटीनिम्स ऑफ ईच अदर ओके all right now we have the word fiction the options are a biography b real c factual d imaginary and here the correct answer is d imaginary fiction refers to something that is imaginary that is not true story is ke liye hum kehte hain ki fictional story hai which means the characters apne aap banaye hain writer ne and story imagine karke likhi hai so that is imaginary 
biography real factual all of these could be called as antonyms of fiction and imaginary and as synonyms amongst each other biography <coughs> refers matlab kisi person ki life story jo hoti hai ab wo to true hi hogi right and real again and factual jo facts ke basis pe hai so all this is true and the fiction and imaginary they are based on imagination and creativity all right Now the next word is fragile. Here the options are A valid, B strong, C delicate, D frank. Here pretty easy. The synonym of fragile is delicate. It's something that is weak and you have to handle it with care. That is fragile and delicate. Valid, something that is true and uh, appropriate for the situation. Strong, we know what it means. Frank, मतलब informal, just say if you talk to your friend and you you speak with them informal, you speak with them in frank manner. अब कुछ बहुत बहुत formal way में नहीं बोलते हो, right? Then so, you use slangs like what's up and uh, what's up etc. So these are slangs which you use and you speak with your friends in a frank manner, right? Okay, so the next word is fright. The options are a calmness, b disappoint, c scare, d courage. The correct word is c scare. The synonym of fright is scare. मतलब डर जाना. Other words like calmness, calmness मतलब peaceful and आराम से rest एकदम बिना tension के. Right. Disappoint means being upset with something. Courage means strength. All right.
case the word here is fugitive the options are a escp b enduring c reliable d permanent now here the here the synonym of fugitive is a escp all right fugitive usually we refer to that person who has uh, you know escaped from some sort of uh, prison ya kisi lock up se that is a fugitive escape is also the same thing the other words like enduring enduring matlab something that is durable and permanent these are enduring and permanent are synonyms and reliable something or someone you can trust and rely on all right Okay, so the next word is glory. The options are A criticism, B obscurity, C scorn, or D honor. Now here the correct word, the synonym is honor, glory and honor. So here glory and honor they usually refer to something you know respected, respectful. Like we say about that you know we have an honorable judge amongst us. So we respect them. So that's honor, respect, glory again, the same thing. And the other was like criticism, noun, which is the act of criticizing someone, act of analyzing their bad things, basically their shortcomings. Obscurity means uh, something that is uncertain. Scorn could uh, mean the it could mean some kind of contempt for someone all right that's scorn Okay, so the next word is guide. The options are a follower, b mentor, c friend, d order. Now here the correct answer, the synonym of guide is mentor. Okay. The one like a teacher, someone who teaches you and guides you and uh, shows you the way, guides you through many things. That's guide or a mentor. Then the other words follower, 
example, uh, the for a leader, right? Yeah, someone who follows someone who believes in them, front and the other word is order. Okay. Now here, no such, but I can say no such uh, relation. Only the relation between guide and mentor. They are synonyms. Okay. Okay, so the next word is initiative, and the options are apathy, inventiveness, confidence, or cowardice. Now here, the correct answer, which is uh, the synonym. Now the synonym of initiative is inventiveness. All right. Of the other ones. Now, initiative and inventiveness they refer to uh, taking charge of something, giving new ideas, suggesting new things. All right. The other words like apathy. Apathy means um, showing lack of, you know, not showing enough interest, which means lack of interest or enthusiasm. Confidence being sure about something and not being nervous at all. Cowardice means being scared. All right, apathy and confidence can be can be said to be antonyms. Okay, so here the synonym of initiative is be inventiveness. So here the next word is lethal. Now lethal means, well, let's see the options first. A lively, B deadly, C beneficial, D wholesome. Okay, now here lethal, the synonym is deadly. Lethal means something that can cause death. Okay, the synonym is of each other. Then lively, something that is cheerful. Beneficial, something of advantage. Wholesome means complete. Right? They're having a wholesome feeling that can be called as you know, feeling complete and uh, 
or everything's fine, like your good health and your well-being is fine. That's wholesome, right? Okay, the next word is liberal. The options are A. Miserly, E. Generous, C. Visionary, D. Imaginative. Now, liberal is generally referred to as when we talk about something being free, liberal. Okay. So, here the synonym is generous. You know, generous also someone who is not, uh, we can say, selfish or greedy, you know, generous, like. Someone, if someone is being generous about something, which means they are giving it freely. They are not being, you know, cheap or selfish about it. All right. So liberal and generous. The other words, miserly, visionary, and imaginative. Now here, visionary means a uh, visionary means someone who has a long thought, which means they are thinking in long term about uh, the future having a lot of visions for the future okay now miserly miserly can be said to be the opposite of generous which means someone who acts in cheap manner which means who just uh, conjures just get them that can be miserly all right then imaginative one who imagines a lot thinks creatively out of the box all right All right, so the next word is predominant. Now here, the options are A, subordinate, B, important, C, secondary, and D, inferior. Here, the correct answer is important. Predominant and important, both of them mean the same thing, being for significance, being important. All right, subordinate, secondary, inferior, these could be said to be and could be said to be synonyms of each other. Like subordinate, suppose there's a leader and who has rank A and then lower than rank A, there's a rank B. So this person on rank B can be, is a subordinate, is subordinate to a person on this rank, like person A. Okay. 
secondary again of secondary value not of not of the first priority inferior again less than something all right so all these are synonyms of each other what is presume and the options are a resume b assume c calculate d vision now here the correct answer is assume assume and presume they means you know when you make an assumption about something when you think of something to be true which may or not actually be true but you make an assumption about something being true all right uh, now the other words resume means going back to something Cal Okay, so the next word is prohibit. The options are a prescribe, b allow, c forbid, d provide. Here, the synonym of prohibit is c forbid, which means refusal to do something, not allowing that person to do something. Okay. The other words prescribe, allow, provide. These can be called to be the antonyms of prohibit and forbid, and the synonyms of each other. Prescribe just say doctor aapko medicines prescribe karta hai. Allow which means saying yes to something. Provide giving something. So again all these can be synonyms of each other. Alright.
okay so now the next word is relief the options are a annoyance b respite c hindrance d injury now here the correct answer is b respite getting relief from something getting respite from something okay which means uh, something that was suffering that uh, you were suffering from and then you finally get finally you let it go finally it is released it is over and then the satisfaction you feel that can be termed as relief or respite okay other words like annoyance the act of being annoying be irritating someone or hindrance a problem injury is a chot lag jati that is an injury all right here relief synonym is respite Okay, so here the next word is renowned, and uh, the options are A introvert, B extrovert, C unknown, D famous. Here renowned means someone who is famous. Okay, like in re a renowned artist or a renowned personality. For example, now uh, let's see. the prime minister narendra modi is a renowned personality right he is famous on street bill so other options let's see introvert introvert uh, usually refers to someone who is shy and doesn't like social gatherings right that is a that is an introvert extrovert a, a social person who like like a social butterfly person who likes to go out and meet new people that's an extrovert and no who is not known by anyone so renowned and famous this could they could be the antonyms of unknown all right Okay. The next word is rescue. Here the options are A peril, B danger, C pitfall, D save. Here, rescue operations, which means when you save someone, that is a rescue operation. 
So E synonym is D. Safe. All right. The other words like uh, peril, danger, and pitfall. These all can be called uh, a group of words which are synonyms of each other. Like peril also refers to some kind of danger. Danger, so danger. Hey, he is just a khatra. Pitfall also some sort of a some sort of a hidden danger. Pitfall. Okay. So yes, these are synonyms of each other, and for rescue, the synonym is safe. All right. So the next word here is scheduled. The options are a backward, b system, c unseemly, d expected. Now here we have to see the synonym. So here the synonym is expected. Scheduled, expected. They refer to something that was planned already. Okay. The words backward. Going backward on something, going back. System um, and uh, 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 organized criteria, organized uh, thing or activity that is the system. Unseemly, which is we can say, which was not likely to happen, which is which was you know uh, not expected, not proper, and uh, doesn't even seem appropriate. That is unseemly. All right. What is shiver? The options are A steady, B terrible, C shake, D meant. Here, the correct answer, pretty easy, sure, is shake. Now this means you know when something is trembling, that is referred to as shiver or shake. The other option, steady, something that is stable, right? Terrible, something that is bad, not good in taste or otherwise. Mend means uh, change something and make something right. Okay.
I'll write the next word is Swift. Here the options are A slack, B speedy, C leisurely, D sluggish. Now here the correct answer is B speedy. Swift, speedy they mean you know going fast. Alright and slack, slack means something that you know uh, slack can be the opposite of uh, speedy and we can refer to slack we can refer to slack as you know something that is loose and not really held tightly leisurely means um, having fun have going at ease all right so this can also be set to an antonym in some sense again sluggish also refers to slow moving and uh, not being very active so all these i think they can be called as the antonyms of swift and speedy and they are synonyms amongst each other slack leisurely and sluggish they are the synonyms amongst each other and swift and speedy are synonyms and uh, they are antonyms of um, these groups this group is the antonym of this group all right Alright, let's see here. The word is synopsis. The options are A index, B mixture, C puzzle, D summary. The synonym of synopsis is summary. Alright, they usually refer to you know a brief description of something, just a chapter, a end me. There's a brief summary given, or you suppose you read a book and then you're asked to write a summary, which means it is a brief description of what all you read. That's what is summary, okay? Index and mixture and puzzle, random words given, and I'm pretty sure you know the meaning of all of these, okay? Okay, so here the word is unusual. The options are A unexceptional, B uncommon, C unnoteworthy, D unimportant. Okay, 
So here the synonym of unusual is B, uncommon, which means something that is not common doesn't happen usually. All right. And here, unexceptional, unexceptional, which means something that happens that is common, that is not exceptional, which means that's common. Unnoteworthy, which means which is not noteworthy, which means again something that is common that happens regularly. Unimportant again, something that is not important, which means it is regular and common again. So these all three are synonyms of each other and can be called as antonyms of unusual and uncommon. All right. Okay, so the next, so the next word is valor. The options are a cowardice, b wise, c courage, d beautiful. Pretty easy again. The val valor is the synonym of courage. Okay, means strength. Cowardice being fearful, being scared, wise, being smart, intelligent, beautiful. Uh, being attractive and pretty. All right. All right, so here we have few five hot questions. Questions num question number 31 to 35. All right, hot questions are from the achievers section. Let's see. The word is obnoxious and the options are A, repulsive, B, moral, C, noble, D, modest. Here the correct answer is A, repulsive. All right. And um, this one again. As its meaning suggests, obnoxious means being repulsive. So obnoxious, so uh, means something that is unpleasant. All right, moral, some kind of value. Noble again can be synonym of moral. Actually, these three, they can be the synonyms of each other. Moral, noble, and modest. 
being simple and showing great values all right All right, so the next question says, the word here is enthral. The options are A, eject, B, bewitch, C, wary, D, dull. Now here, the synonym of enthral is B, bewitch. When we say that someone is enthralling or bewitching, we say that it is, we mean that it is mesmerized us, which means it has fascinated us and captured our attention so well. All right, that is enthral or we can say bewitching. They are synonyms of each other. Now the eject, eject, eject could be, you know, throwing away something or um, we usually talk about um, some tenants being, you know, ejected. We can, some tenants being ejected like, you know, being thrown out of their place or being told to leave that uh, rented place which they are living in. That is ejection. Then the other words, very and dull, something that is low and not really bright. Okay, that is very and dull. Very can also be used when you are tired, feeling low. Right, these are synonyms of each other. Okay, so the next word is peevish. This one means, uh, this one, let's see the options first. A, pleasant. B, angry. C, hungry. D, happy. Here, the correct answer, peevish synonym is be angry. Alright, you know, being irritable and showing your anger. The other words like pleasant and happy, they could be synonyms of each other and hungry, you know, what it means, which I'm feeling right now. Okay, let's move on.
all right so this question has uh, talks about the word agitate now here the options are a quiet b tranquil c soothe d disturb now here the correct answer is d disturb when someone feels agitated means when they are means that they are feeling disturbed and irritated and annoyed all right the other words like a b c quiet tranquil and soothe they can be synonyms of each other which means being at peace and ease all right Okay, so the next word is ga gaudy. Here, the options are a drab, b plain, c flashy, d modest. Here, the correct answer is c flashy. Means something that is very bright and shiny. Like if you have a dress with so much of glitter and uh, mirrors and shining work, it can be called gaudy and flashy. All right. the other words drab plain modest usually refer to something that is dull and simple like drab means something that is um just very dull all right then plain and modest these are synonyms of each other but they are antonyms of gaudy and flashy all right so in all of these questions of synonyms we have on an average learned about uh, learned at least two pairs of synonyms in each question you see so much of value addition has taken place in this exercise of synonyms that um, if you add these words to your vocabulary and start using them it is going to be of great help to you all right let's move on all right so now we will be taking the questions of analogies once uh, you know you can take the first question as a sample question and then see what kind of questions are being asked but as i told you you will be given a group of words and out of which you will have to choose one or do one out based on the meanings so these meanings these words which have the same meanings four or five words and uh, so these will be synonyms of each other and the one which you will choose might be the antonym or might be another just any random word that's why i have included analogies as a sub part of synonyms all right
all right so this is our next category which is analogies now here what we have to do is choose the word which means differently from the following group of words now as i told you ki is category of questions mein kya hoga ki we are given a group of words here and we have to see which one is sort of like uh, an odd one out okay let's see the words here prohibit prevent block forbid allow deny so here which one is the odd one out now here you see prohibit prevent block forbid here the options are also given prevent allow block and deny so prevent block deny all of these what do they mean they mean stopping something or not letting someone or something pass or uh, giving a blockage sort of thing all well, right so here their antonym is allow which means letting something go uh, allowing something and saying yes to it okay so this is how these questions will be and that's how we have to answer pretty easy right Okay, so here the group is profit, gain, failure, improvement, utility, and value. The options are failure or utility or gain or profit. Now here, the odd one out is a failure. If you see all the other, all of them, they're talking about something positive, in the sense that. Uh, utility means use of something gain again uh, getting sort of an advantage profit again an advantage getting some use here the opposite is failure not being able to do something which is a negative word i can say all right okay the next category of words say sustain maintain keep block uphold bear now here uh all these words you see uphold maintain sustain 
Here the opposite is block. D, which means stopping something or causing a problem to something. Blockage ho jati hai jaise when someone something is not let is not allowed to pass. Whereas whereas all the other uphold following something and allowing it to happen, maintaining and sustaining all these are synonyms of each other. All right. Okay, so here the words are decline, increase, advancement, growth, development, progress. So here the options growth, progression, decline and increase. Here the odd one out is C decline. The other words like growth. Progression increase, they talk about adding value, right? Something increasing. Both, you know, going up, progression again, something which is progressing and going up, increase again, going up. Whereas decline, it means going down. The other was also increase, going up, advancement, going up, even development, development of something, going up, positive. All right. Okay, so here the words are associate, companion, comrade, partner, pal, opponent. Here the odd one out is opponent. Now opponent refers to someone who is uh, your competition. Alright, whereas others like associate, companion, Comrade, partner, pal, they refer to your friend or your loved ones or your the ones, your well-wishers. All right. Opponent is someone who is competing with you. All right.
Okay, so the next set of words say gladness, joy, rapture, cheer, delight, distress. Here, this antonym or we can say the odd one out is B, distress. The other words like gladness, joy, rapture, cheer, delight. All of them means a feeling of happiness and being satisfied, enjoying something. All right. Whereas distress means being upset and being sad about something. Okay. Let's uh, move on. Okay, so the next category says right, appropriate, proper, unfit, fair, decent. Here again, the odd one out is unfit. Okay, so the words like right, appropriate, proper, and fair, and decent. They refer to um, something or someone that is valid and something that is okay. Whereas unfit refers to something that is not okay in the sense if I say you are unfit for this job, which means you do not fulfill the criteria and you are not correct for this job. Okay. The next category says raise, uplift, erect, grow, arouse, decrease. Here the options are decrease, uplift, erect and arouse. The odd one out is decrease. Re um, the other words like raise, uplift, erect, grow, arouse, all of them means um, what do I say, you know, again, you know, increasing something and making it grow and uh, improving it. All right. Whereas decrease again means something falling. Okay.
Okay, so here the here the options are settle, displace, transfer, separate, shift, and displant. Now here, here the odd one out is settle. Now all other words like displace, transfer, separate, shift, displant, they talk about moving away from somewhere. All right. Displace, which means there, there's this one place and you leave that place being displaced from it, moving to another place. Transfer also means the same thing. Separate also, you know, um, going away from somewhere, somewhere like I separated from my family. So you move away from your family. Shift, displant, same thing. But settle means settling at this one place, which is the opposite. All right. Okay, so the next category says decline, reject, deny, revoke, diffuse, grant. Here the correct answer is B, grant. The other words, they talk about refusing to something, saying no to something, declining, declining an offer, rejecting it, denying it, revoking it, which means taking it back, refusing, saying no to it. But granting something means saying yes to it. All right. Okay, here the options are fortunate, destitute, poor, adverse, abject, pitiful. So here um, the synonym or oh, sorry, the odd one out is D fortunate. Fortunate means being lucky and being blessed with facilities and uh, good conditions. Where other words like destitute and poor and adverse, abject, pitiful, the ones who do not have any facilities, the ones um, who lack certain resources. All right.
Okay, so here we have a few hot questions. Question 31 onwards. The questions which are number 31. The options are honor, renown, disgrace, splendor, fame, and brilliance. So here what do we have to do? We have to choose the odd one out with the one which means differently from the given words. So here the answer is D. Disgrace. The other words honor and renown, disgrace, fame, splendor, all of them mean, mean being uh, means being famous for something and being popular for something. Disgrace, however, means someone or something that is not appropriate, something that you are not proud of. All right. Okay, so the words are integrity, harmony, oneness, union, diversity and entity. Now here, the correct answer, which means the odd one out is diversity. Why diversity? See all other words, uh, integrity, harmony, oneness, union, entity, all of them mean something that is one. Okay. Diversity, however, refers to like a diverse group of people. It means people from different backgrounds. Okay, so it is this tendency of so many people where unity, so union and integrity means one. Okay. Alright, so this is uh, the final question for this class. Cure, renovate, heal, restore, remove, renew. So here, the correct here we have to choose the odd one out. And the answer is A, remove. Alright, now the other ones, other words like cure, reno, renovate, Heal, restore, renew, they talk about uh, making something okay, go, making it go back to its original state, 
whereas removing means letting go of something all right this was the this was the final question uh, of synonyms and analogies both i hope analogies both i hope that you have understood both the concepts all right so that's all for a class on synonyms i hope you have understood what synonyms really are and uh, we have also discussed various sample questions so if you have made any mistakes on them make sure you go back and rectify them keep revising keep learning thank you for watching